Hi, this is Bitter Poet Madman, and you're about to watch another awesome beer review from Greg's Beer Reviews. Hey, buddy. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. This is a treat. This is a uh, this is a beer that come in the beer mail from uh, OG and Wishy. Uh, uh, this is Firestone Velvet Merlin. It is an oatmeal stout. This beer comes in at 5.50 ABV. It is from the Firestone Walker Brewing out of Paso Robles, California. Oatmeal Stout is a fall serving. This beer was released on October 1st of 2010. It is blended with a Merlin that's aged in bourbon barrels for a year. So uh, it's a pretty comp complex beer, supposedly. So pretty sure it is, and it's probably going to live up to its name and its and its and its, uh, and its ratings and comments that I've seen and read and heard about so far. So uh, let's get on with this. Uh, the food pairing for this, so the cheeses will be the earthy, the camembert. Uh, the general food pairing is it's a dessert, it's a chocolate type beer, uh, so uh, it's going to go well with your desserts. And the meat that you just say for this is your smoked meat and shellfish, stuff like that. Uh, pint glass, the back of the mug and stuff can be used for this, but like I always say, these uh, these porters and stouts I like to do in the, the oversized tulip or snifter glass. Or I got the Duvel glass, this is my favorite for using for these type of beers. So it's not recommended for extended salaring, so uh, you might argue that a little bit. It's only 5.5% ABV, but it's a good quality beer. It'll, it'll keep a good year or two anyway, probably. So uh, let's get the cap off this thing and see what we got. It is a fall seasonal beer, like I said. Put a little easy on the pour there. I didn't want to have a giant three fingers of head, so I didn't pour a giant enormous head. The beer is fairly dark. I don't see any light through the glass at all. Maybe just a slight bit of tint around it. Not much. I mean, not even enough to say I'm seeing light through the outside of it. A lot of bubbles sticking to the inside of the glass, and the head is basically dissipated already. No head at all now. So, what's good in the glass? Let's get a nose on it and see what we got. Oh, that's got a lot of coffee notes there, a lot of roasted malts. Uh, a little nuttiness there, but there's a lot of heavy roasted malt coffee smell. Smells very pleasant in a glass. Uh, I'm we, we can't get this other, on this side. They, I do get some of the Firestone Walker beers, but I don't think they, they send the, uh, the, this particular beer out here to the East Coast. I may be wrong, but I've not seen it in my beer store, and I've looked several times. So Let's taste it and see what we got. Man, that's very nice. This is props to OD and Wishy. I'm honored with your friendship, and the beer is excellent. Thank you, sir. Very, very, very nice beer. Wow, very nice. A lot of coffee there, a lot of roasted malt. Very easy drinking beer. You could drink several of these. This is very, very nice beer. This is... Uh, this beer used to be called uh, the uh, the Velvet Merc Merkin, Merkin, but the name changed when they started doing this this year in 2010. They changed it to the Velvet Merlin. So uh, very nice beer, very nice beer. Very easy drinking. If you like coffee, you're gonna like this. Wow, very, 
very, very, very nice. I'm going to sip on that and let that warm up a little bit. Stick around. It looks like we're going to have another nine here tonight. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. This is a very nice beer. Very, very nice. A lot of coffee, a lot of roasted malts, a little nuttiness. It's aged in the bourbon barrel, so it's not a heavy on the bourbon smell, but it's there. Man, it's a wonderful beer. Cheers. Wow, that's impressive. OG, thanks again, sir. That's a definitely an above average beer. It's an excellent beer. That is a nine and a half on the scale of ten. Still looking for that perfect beer, number ten. Don't know if it's out there. It exists out there. I'm trying to keep that plateau up here where the perfect beer sets, and I keep reaching and keep searching for that beer. So we trudge on. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think of it. Pretty impressive beer. Great beer gives it a 97 overall and, and 97 in the style. And Beer Abbott gives it a B plus. It's an A beer in my book. It's definitely an A beer. Uh, like I said, it's a nine and a half on the scale tonight. Very impressive beer. If you've had it, let me know what you think of it. If you've not had it, you can get it. You might have to be on the West Coast to get this. I'm not sure. Not seeing it around here. That's why. No deed sent it to me. Uh, I've looked around here. I get some Firestone Walker beers here, but don't get this one. So, uh, very appreciated. Thanks, O.D. again. Y'all, uh, that's all I got to say about this one. Rate, comment, subscribe, and catch you on the next beer review.